I'm Lindsay Dalgetty. I'm Lindsay Dalgetty. I'm Lindsay Dalgetty. I'm Lindsay Dalgetty. And this is my house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> welcome to my house. Hi, Hello. welcome to my house. Hi. Oh my goodness, you look so like my husband's ex-wife. Oh, don't. <laughs> what? She looks like it, his ex-wife. Oh, that riled me. I thought, how dare you? Like, as ex-wife, he doesn't have an ex-wife. <laughs> Kevin and I have been together, actually, for when we were teenagers. We met in our local area. I went to school together. So he knows me very well. well I actually know Kevin in and out. And I mean oh, really? in and out. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I think you would eat Kevin for breakfast. When I used to be at work, Kevin used to pinch my bum, you see. He likes chunky bums. Oh, he does like bums. Hey! Oh! Hey! I have to say, he does love a bum, but sadly, yeah. that's one thing I couldn't provide. <laughs> hi, ladies. Oh, hi. hi. Oh, welcome, welcome to, to my, my house. house. I was just about to say, make yourselves at home, but I've seen you've helped yourself to coffee, so... Definitely we have. The girls rule the roost in this house. Kevin does take care of us really well. He, he calls me his African queen, and he's my king. <laughs> hey! Hey! My sister. You're just not his type, I'm, I'm sorry. You're not, you're not blonde. <laughs> I am definitely Kevin's type. All over, I am Kevin's real type. These are all beautiful, but I don't see the connection, how we well, are no like. disrespect, but it doesn't like fake lips. Uh, excuse me? What did she say about her? She said she had fake lips. <gasps> this is all natural. <laughs> <laughs> she's been really rude, and considering she's a guest in my house, our name's definitely not Lindsay, if anything, it should be Karen. Ah. Wow. Ooh, ah. That fake lips jive. Whoa, that was straight to that the heart. Was... Oh, my God. I mean, if you're going to call out someone's lips... Like, uh, on the first meeting... You, you must be feeling really vexed that there's people up in your house trying to act like they're you. Lindsay Four is almost trying a bit too hard, like, oh, no, he loves my bum. Lindsay Four might be the real Lindsay and she's enjoying playing with everyone else. Because, <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't plan on being a Lindsay anytime soon, but if I was <laughs> Lindsay Four, that's the, that, that's, if I was Lindsay, that's the kind of Lindsay I would be. <laughs> Lindsay Four is saying, this is going to be my house yeah. soon. <laughs> 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 Lindsay Two reminds me of my wife, because she's getting wound up by the second. So our pond um, was empty when we moved in and we filled it with some carp kois. Koi carp, they're Koi called. Carp. Got him. They're actually not called carp koi, they're called koi carp. The fact that she got the name of the fish wrong is not believable. How did this get on the floor then, if you don't put pots in the dishwasher? Well, there wasn't a pot. No? No, it wasn't a pot that fell on there. It was a hammer that fell on there. A hammer? Yes. In the kitchen. All those hammers in the kitchen. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Lindsay number two called it carp, and it's not carp koi, it's koi carp. Koi carp, it's a koi very carp. Slip, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. But she actually did a, she did a face as well when she put her foot, she yeah. kind of went... When Lindsay Four started claiming that he came home from work and dropped a hammer by the dishwasher, yeah, that, that no. doesn't happen. Oh, I've done some legendary things in my house, <laughs> but drop a hammer <laughs> in the kitchen is your husband Thor. These were my dad's teeth. Oh, my God. My dad passed away and it was in Africa, so this was the only part I had left of him, so I made sure that I did bring it over here. Actually, a lot of people didn't know that his teeth were false and he didn't like people knowing that. And his smile was one of the things I remembered the most and I always want to keep that. They are very dear to me, these teeth. My dad would probably find it funny. He'll probably laugh at the fact that I kept his teeth. <laughs> um, actually, these were my dad's teeth. Um, he actually passed away a few years ago now, so it's pretty much all I've got left of him. His laugh was contagious and that, well, that's his smile. My dad passed away pretty much when me and Kevin first got together. Um, so he's been there for me, like, the full time that happened. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been pretty tough. So, sorry, they are actually my dad's teeth. Yeah, he passed away a few years ago, um, and he was actually a funeral director. <laughs> and he, he used to just think it was really funny if he was buried without his teeth. And so I kept them just as a wee funny reminder of silly jokes. That was a bit real, so, though. It would probably be cringing that people knew that he had false teeth because he was very proud and a good-looking guy, but back in the day, you just had a problem, they would remove and whip your teeth, so I kept them. Like, I ended up being a dental nurse, I was always fascinated with teeth, and I thought, that's his smile. My dad died when I was young, so I'm used to seeing these teeth every day, and it was... it's a true story. <laughs> Where 
I come from, if you're keeping teeth, you're doing something else. Witchcraft. <laughs> Witchcraft. For once, I thought Lindsay Wan was the most convincing there. I thought she looked genuinely touched. Lindsay. I'd agree. I think Lindsay Wan's teeth story was the most convincing. Was the most convincing. Yeah.